We're here with Belhaven men's soccer coach uh, Brian McMahon. Coach, uh, what an outstanding season for you this year, a, a national title, the second in program history. As you look back at this year, what are your thoughts and, and what are your feelings right now winning this national title? Well, the first thing I would look back on is the team chemistry uh, through the course of this season just continued to improve and and uh, I think our tournament run, uh, you know, was was kind of a good example of that. I think uh, we we really found a way to win some tight games uh, late in the game, and uh, I think uh, I think the guys and the chemistry on the team really is the thing that I'll always remember. As far as the depth of this roster, it seems like that really paid off for you. You played a lot of different players, and and I noticed in the national tournament there were some teams that only played 12, 13 players, and. You had guys up and down the roster that you could put in the ball game. Is that something that maybe played a big role, especially when you played four games in five days? You know, by nature as a coach, I like to put a lot of uh, a lot of confidence in players. And even as we go back to the beginning of season, uh, I was playing quite a few players, and uh, and I think that paid off. I mean, the, the national tournament run is a challenge. You know, to to win the to win the tournament, you have to. I think we won uh, four games in five days, and without the depth of the team, there's there's it's very very difficult to do that. So I think uh, I think every guy on the team was important. I think I, th I probably played 22 to 23 players through the course of uh, of the four games, and I think everybody had a role and they did a very good job at that. As you look at the final rankings, obviously Bellhaven is number one in the final uh, top 25 poll, but you look down at the opponents that you've beaten this year, and a number of them are in that top 10 that you played throughout the course of the season. Did that prepare you for the postseason and the tournament run that you had? Well, it's definitely a lot to be excited about with that. The the, the top 25 uh, poll just came out at the end of the season, and, and we were ranked number one, but... Uh, you know, in in the remainder of the the nine teams in the top ten, we had beaten six of them, uh, and uh, through the course of the season, I think we played 16 teams in the top 25 through the course of the season. So uh, our guys definitely were battle tested. I think we saw and were exposed to a lot of very very good teams in the course of the season, and uh, and I think that showed as we got to the national tournament. Can you talk a little bit about your Brazilian players and Eduardo Cruz specifically hitting that big shot? against Lindsey Wilson in the semifinals. Uh, what did they mean to your ball club this year? Obviously, they, they played a major role in the, uh, in the national tournament with each of them almost scoring a goal apiece. Right. The, our Brazilian, uh, you know, the Brazilian guys on our team did a great job. Uh, they definitely are very technically gifted with their skill, and uh, I, think they, I think they did a great job at, uh, at possession. Uh, Eduardo Cruz's goal was special. Uh, he's a leader of the team. He's a center midfielder for us. He's a captain. Um, and uh, he's kind of a guy that the team has looked to all year long. He sets the tempo of games, and, uh, you know, big-time players step up in, in, in important moments, and, and he certainly did that against Lindsey Wilson. You talk about Tom Cosgrave, the defender, a senior, had a goal in that final game, but more importantly, just played solid defense, uh, outscoring opponents 13-3 to in the national tournament. Uh, obviously, the defense really helped win that national tournament, uh, and he was definitely a key part of it, I would think. Right. The thing that I've been uh, just amazed about is since the since the tournament's been over, how many people have told me how happy they are for Tom, and uh, that's a true testament to Tom's off the field character as much as he is a leader to us on the field, and uh, you know certainly on the field he's he's an incredible player and he's he's a, a he's very strong, but uh, yeah he he's pretty special when it comes to his on and off the field leadership. Now as you go into the offseason, you got some guys to replace. Um, what are your goals kind of in the offseason to make this team even better? Well, the thing we have to continue to improve on is, is building the foundation. Uh, you know, this was my first year here, and, uh, you know, we've had a lot of interest right away from, from recruits and players who want to come in. But uh, I think we look for the right type of players, you know, and, uh, and for us that's important. We don't just want the talent, but we want to continue to build the foundation of what our program stands for.